another We Are Terminal video. We've been having a lot of fun lately with the We Are Terminal. We're going to be putting some Arduino code on here today. We've had a couple of their sample projects I'm running. We chose two of them and they both use the onboard accelerometer. We'll be using the Arduino IDE. We'll show you how to get that set up with your Arduino terminal. And at the end of the video, we'll show for those of you that do not have the Arduino IDE installed on your computer, we'll show you how to get hold of that and install it on a Mac, Windows and Linux computers. <sighs> so fire up your Arduino IDE. And let's get started. Now you'll want to open your Arduino IDE application. Then if you're on a Mac, you'll click Arduino and then Preferences. But if you're not on a Mac, all these options up here are on the actual Arduino application. You'll want to go File, then Preferences. Then you'll need to go down to where it says Additional Boards and Manager URLs. If you're not using a Wii terminal, you'll have to surf the web to find your Boards Manager URL, but that shouldn't be too hard. But if you are using a Wii terminal, just head over to our website, gurglabs.com, and find this article, link should be in the description, and copy this. Then you'll want to paste it into the Additional Boards Manager URL box, and then just simply press OK. Now we need to search for our boards. To do this, we need to go to Tools, then Board, then Board Manager and then search for your board. In my case, I would search Wio Terminal. And then when you found your board, just simply press Install. And once that's done installing, you can just press Close. The final step is to connect to your board. So to do this, we go to Tools, then Board, and then search for your board. And then we need to find its port, so to do this we go to Tools again, and then Port, and select your port. Now if you don't know what your port is, um, you can just um, unconnect your board, and then see what port goes missing. And that'll be your port to connect to. You can see I've got my device plugged in right now, and I actually know which port it is, it's um, Seed Rio Terminal, that one. But if I unplug it, and then I just refresh, I go out, and then press Tools. And then port, you can see my port has now vanished. Now let's get some code up and running on the Wii terminal. So if you head over to gurglabs.com, our website, and um, find this article here on the video you're watching right now, link should be in the description, and click this link right here. And that should bring you to C Studio's um, GitHub page. And you can see we've got lots of projects you can do with the um, Wii terminal, but we're going to go with this one, Wii Level. Now, I should really git clone this or um, download it onto my computer, but just for speed, I'm just going to really quickly copy and paste it from GitHub and then paste it in the Arduino IDE software. Noticing that I've deleted um, all the code that was in there before. And now I'm going to press this arrow button to upload the code onto the Wii terminal. It's asking me to save the program, so I'm going to save that. And this bit at the bottom of the window um, gives us feedback on the code. It comes up with an error. Now, I can't find this file up here. To fix this, I'm going to copy that library that it couldn't find. And then I'm going to go to Sketch, Include Library, and Manage Libraries. And then I'm going to paste that library into here and just install it. And then I'm going to do the exact same for the library underneath it because I fear that problem is going to come up too. Okay, done. And now I'm just going to run it. And yay, it works. I'm thinking we might customise this now. So where it says angle, I might change that to say angle gurgle. And I've noticed um, the circle that moves around, when it gets to the first ring, and um, that X value is around 0.5. Um, so I might make it buzz um, when the X value gets over 0.5 for the acceleration. So let's get straight to coding. So first things first, let's actually just make it say um, angle gurgle. So I see down here, um, draw string angle, and I'm just going to go angle gurgle then I'm just going to run that see if that works and there we go I've just cleaned the camera there and you can see it says angle gurgle now to make it buzz so I think 
first thing we do i think here i'm going to make a function and that just turns the buzzer on and off the new bit of code is just this all that does is turn the buzzer on and off and you can see we're turning the buzzer on um 500 times really really fast and um, to make that buzz buzzing sound but you can obviously change that to like 300 if you want and now we actually need to set up the buzzer so in and void setup i'll just plop you here okay um i've done that um all i've done is just um described what pin or the name of the pin we are buzzer i've set that as an output Finally, we need to write a few lines that runs the function we wrote earlier when the x value gets over 0 0.5. If, and then brackets, x values is bigger than 0 0.5, so remember that was um, at that first circle here. And then I put the brackets. We just want to do our buzz um, function. Okay, then let's run that. Perhaps it looks like everything's working. Go like that. And it works. Great. Now we're going to show you how to install the Arduino IDE. But if you've already got the Arduino IDE application or um, you know how to do it, then feel free just to stop the video there. So if you are stopping here, then... If you did, if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, um, visit our website, googleapps.com, with um, a article on this video and all our other videos. So yeah, let's get on with showing you how to get Arduino IDE. On the Mac, you just head over to arduino.cc, then go to software, and then um, click the Mac OS option and download it from there. We open up the downloaded file and then it unzips it for you and then our only job is just to drag it into the applications folder. Now I can go and run it. Since this has been downloaded off the internet a message has just popped up making sure that I really do want to open this and I do. And now I've got the Arduino ID ready to be used on my Mac. With a Linux machine the beginning is the same go to arduino.cc then software and then this is where it changes. As you can see, we've got quite a few Linux options. If you don't know which option your computer is, don't worry because I'll help you work that out. Now, most computers do not have an ARM processor, but Raspberry Pis do. So you can probably rule out the option beginning with ARM if you're not using a Raspberry Pi. Now we need to figure out if you've got a 32 or 64 bit operating system. So to do this, you just go open up a terminal or shell on your computer and type get conf long underscore bits. And then press enter and it'll show you whether you've got a 32 or 64 bit operating system. Using this information, you can now select the right one for your computer. You'll want to unzip the file that you've just downloaded and then extract that to wherever you want to extract it to. I'm going to extract mine onto my desktop. Once that's been extracted, you'll need to go into the folder that you've just extracted. And then you'll want to double click on this file. Install.sh. Something like this should pop up now and you can either execute it or execute in terminal. I'm going to go with the execute in terminal option. Okay, that's done now, and you can see that I have my Arduino IDE installed on my computer. Now for the Windows, we just go to the same place, but instead choose the Windows option that suits you best. And then once that Windows file has finished downloading, we're just going to open it up by double clicking it. And then we're just going to simply follow the instructions that your Windows device tells you to do. And now you have the Arduino IDE ready to use installed on your Windows machine. That's it for today's video. Well done for sticking around to the end. Um, remember to like, subscribe if you found this video useful. And also comment if you've got any questions. And please do check out our website googleapps.com with articles on our videos. With that being said, goodbye.